Welcome to the tutorial video for the Madeline Hurdy Gurdy. This time we're going to talk about how to hold the instrument. Let's place the instrument in our lap and learn to hold it properly. You want to hold the instrument somewhat upright, not down flat on its back. The reason for this, when you are playing, you will be pressing the buttons. They rely on gravity to fall out of position. As you can see, when I press them upwards towards the body of the instrument and I let go, they fall away. That's important for the function of the instrument. If it's laying on its back, you can press the buttons in, but they won't naturally disengage. When playing the instrument, it's also important to know how to hold the handle properly. If you're right-handed, the crank handle will hang off the right side of the instrument as it sets on your lap. You will engage the crank with your right hand. Best way to hold the crank, the ball end, put it against your palm, close your fingers around it, and hold it while you crank. You don't want a total death grip on it, so cultivate the habit of something of a relaxed hold on it. That will be very important, especially as you more learn how to play and use the trumpet later on. A lot of new players will want to engage the handle like that. Um, that's not a good way to hold it. You could injure yourself and your wrist as you go on down the road. That concludes this video. Thanks for joining in. Come along next time as we start to explore the sounds that each of the individual strings make. Happy playing!